Hello everybody, Trello here, and welcome back to the La Royale dev server. And today we are taking a look at the Chinese ZTZ88B, which is coming to the Chinese tech tree between the ZTZ59D1 and the ZTZ88A. And all three of these tanks are 8.7, so there's not actually any difference in battle rating between the new tank or the tanks it's coming in between. And the big difference between this and the previous one is that it has a new 105mm gun. Now this seems to fire the same ammunition with the same penetration characteristics. So 330mm at 500m with APFSDS, 127mm with HESH and 400mm with HEAT. But if you look at the previous tank, the 59D1, it has a reload rate of 11.2 seconds. This has a reload rate of 9.3 seconds. So near enough to make no difference, two seconds quicker reload rate. And in addition to that, you've got a 12.7mm machine gun on the roof and a 7.62mm machine gun in a coaxial position, as well as smoke grenades. And of course, one of the other big differences is with regards to the armour, because this has a composite armour at the front of the tank. The 59D1 by comparison has ERA armour, and it doesn't even cover the entirety of the front of the tank. Although it does also have ERA on the turret and slat armor for the rear of the tank and some of the sides. So the rest of the regular armor seems to be broadly the same as the 59D1. So this will stand up better against heat shells. So yeah, equivalent protection here, 370. If we go to APGS, yeah, that goes down to about 270 odd millimeters. So much better protected against heat, but also well protected against APFS DS rounds and the like. And like I say, the turret is unprotected by ERA blocks, so is not as well protected as the previous vehicle in many ways. And it also has slightly thinner side armor, only 60mm compared to the previous vehicle's 80mm, which is a bit of a downgrade. However, this is also capable of a faster top speed of 36 miles per hour compared to the previous tank's 31 miles per hour. And that's due to a more powerful engine. It's got a 646 horsepower engine whereas the previous vehicle only has a 460 horsepower engine. So this can go a little bit faster, although it's still not a drastically fast speed, to be honest. And then lastly, you've got the crew. You've got a driver at the front here, and he's protected by the composite armor. And then you've got a gunner, commander, and loader in the turret. But also, weirdly enough, they've decided to use their fuel tanks as ammo storage, which um, does not particularly strike me as a great idea, to be honest. But um. There you go. So anyway, that is the ZTZ88B. And yeah, I think this will be a decent enough tank. I mean, like I say, I can understand why it's not a higher battle rating. This does seem more of a side grade in some respects. You've got the same gun, but slightly faster reload rate. And you've got slightly more effective frontal hull armor, but the turret and other areas are not as well protected. So yeah, more of a side grade. Although I would technically consider it a bit of an upgrade just because of that reload rate. Anyway, just a quick video on the ZTZ88B. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you'll join me for the next video. I've been Tereno, and I'll see you next time.